Welcome to Curls Out Loud Season 1, Episode 1, where we're transforming curls one beautiful black woman at a time. Coco Chanel once said that a woman who's about to change her hair is about to change her life, and we're doing that and much more. Please join us on this journey of transforming women into their beautiful natural selves, and don't forget to tell a friend. Curls Out Loud. I am your host, B. Simone, and today we are transforming a very special guest. Let's meet her. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you as well. So how are you feeling? Um, I feel good. I feel really nervous, but I'm excited. Good. That's normal. That's normal. Don't be nervous, though. This is going to be an amazing experience. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, my name is Mia, and I'm from Philly. Tell me a little bit about why you're here today. Okay, um, so I am here because I really believe that a woman who transformed her hair is about to transform her life. Mm -hmm. And where I am right now, I'm not happy where I'm at in my life. Okay. So I feel like this transformation is the beginning of me transforming myself completely. But I'm also here because I wanna learn to love myself and mm. my skin and with my natural hair. Beautiful. So like, um, I had a really bad experience okay. with my natural hair. Um, I wear braids a lot and I keep them in for like three months. So you can imagine when I take it out, it's not pleasant. Okay. And this one particular time I had just finished taking them out. I didn't have time to wash it, comb it, do anything. And I had to rush and go somewhere. So I grabbed an elastic, put it on my hair and I got on the bus. And on the bus behind me was a little boy and his mom. And like at that moment when I sat down, my elastic popped and my hair kind of like opened up. And as soon as it opened up, he said, "Ill mommy, what's that smell? It stinks. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm sure that was horrifying, but here at Curls, we are here to make you feel beautiful on the outside, which will transform to the inside. So please don't be nervous. Be excited. I've been through stuff like that before, too, where I used to wear extensions so much. I've actually had my hair natural for a year now using Curls products. So I'm trying to grow it out, trying to grow it out. We're going to get you there, girl, that confidence. We're going to get you there. I know your hair is real pretty up under there, so we're going to see. You ready? <laughs> yes, All right. definitely. So who are you doing this for? Are you doing this for yourself, for a significant other? Are you trying to surprise or impress anybody? Um, I'm doing it for myself mostly, but I'm definitely Good. doing it for my significant other, trying to surprise him. He loves natural hair, so. And he has no idea? No. <laughs> I cannot wait to see his face. Okay, Mia, so I'm gonna ask you a question. What is your goal and what would you like to see happen with your look? What are you expecting with this transformation? My goal is to look and feel like a woman, like more feminine. So I typically wear like sweats and sneakers. So Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to be more feminine. Okay. We need to get your before pictures. We're gonna head over to the studio and get this beautiful before look. So are you ready? Yeah. All right, girl, let's go. We are just getting started. You're gonna get a curl style makeover. So are you ready to meet our Hollywood Glam Squad? Yes. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Now, when it comes to creating star-studded looks, I got you the dream team. So I'm gonna introduce you to the hairstylist first. You ready? Yes. Let's go, girl. Mia, meet Monet Everett, who is known for doing natural hair glam for red carpets across Hollywood. She has worked on Dominique Fishback, Paige Hurd, and Tia Mari. So happy to meet you, Mia. I cannot wait to get you glammed up, girl. I'm so excited. introduce you to your makeup artist for today, Jamie Dion. She is known for classic and timeless red carpet glam and she will be glamming you today. Mia, yeah, so nice to meet you. Come sit you down. Right. Have a seat. Y'all, I'm gonna leave y'all to it. Good luck. I know you're gonna love it. That's my girl. I've known her for years. She's gonna hook you up. Thanks, B. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to really prep your skin well so we can make sure that you have longevity so you can go out tonight if you want to hit the dance party, you can do that and still look flawless. And now we're going to 
going to prime your skin. And this is basically you know, the glue for the foundation so you can have a really good flawless finish and mattifying as well. So tell me, um, how does your skin feel? Does it, is it normally oily or dry? What do you think it is? I think I have combination of skin. So t right in the T-zone there? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna make sure we focus on those areas. All right, so tell me, what is your normal makeup look? Do you like makeup? My definition of makeup is lip gloss and mascara normally. Oh, okay. <laughs> and like everybody's been wearing no makeup with the masks and everything. Yeah. So this is a time that we can make your lips shine and I really want to pop your eyes because you have some gorgeous eyes. Thank you. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get these eyebrows taken care of. We're going to fill them in and contour them to where they frame the face beautifully, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, when was the last time you got your makeup done? Um, I want to say May for a wedding. Really? And was your experience pleasant? It was. Okay, good. Hey Mia, we are more than halfway done. We've done all of the hard stuff. We've changed the shape of your hair. We've given you a cut. I even blew you out because you talked about sometimes shying away from wearing your natural hair due to the shrinkage. Yeah. You won't have to worry about as much shrinkage this time. I use products from the Blueberry Bliss line to uh, twist your hair. Now you're completely dry and I'm going to take it out. But first, I wanna take care of your scalp with the Blueberry Mint Scalp Treatment. Just putting a few drops where you have parting so you won't have to worry about any itchiness. It's really important to care for your scalp and not only your hair. This is how you get really healthy hair. A lot of women make a mistake when they take out their twist out and they just use their hands to unravel. You wanna always use an oil or a serum to take your twist out. It helps you to get rid of frizz. And I'm gonna use the Blueberry Bliss Hair and Scalp Oil. Just a few drops in my palm. Then I'm rubbing it into my fingertips. And I'm going to unravel the twist in the same way I put them in. So I'm gonna go in the exact opposite direction of the way I put in the twist. The light oil on my hands is helping me to separate your twist without getting a lot of frizz. How you feeling? Good. This is my first time seeing you since um, you got your makeup done, your hair is almost done. How do you think your family and your friends are gonna take this transformation? I know they're gonna be excited. It's like so unexpected. <laughs> Nobody knows I'm here, so. You got glitter on your eyes and stuff. You usually do color? I don't. See, I'm scared of color too, but that looks so good on you. Jamie did beautiful. I cannot wait to see this twist I out. I cannot girl. wait to see. I didn't look yet. So how do you feel? I'm excited and I'm a little bit nervous, but more so excited. Good, now I know it's been a long day. We've had fun, we've laughed, we've got excited about the transformation, but I'm gonna dig deep into what we talked about earlier, your transformation in your life, because you're transforming in the physical, but you're also transforming your career, your personal life. Tell me a little bit about what's going on back home in Philly. Um, so the transformation is, like I said, so for one, I don't feel like I'm where I'm, where I should be in life. Yeah. So I recently went back to school and I'm completely changing careers. I was in food service for a really long time and I decided to take a leap of faith and went into nursing. Yeah. So I am transforming. I will be uh, Nurse Mia really soon. Mm -hmm. And I know that's kind of scary. I used to do music and all of a sudden I'm this comedian now and in between that stage, I never wanted to do comedy. I was pretty lost. I was like, wherever the Lord leads me is what I'm gonna do. So how did you know you wanted to go transform from 
um, the food service and nursing. So when I was younger, I wanted to be a nurse, but yeah. then um, I got to a point in my life where I felt stuck and felt lost and yeah. I prayed. And in my prayer, God was definitely telling me like to take that first step yeah. and go take the first test that I needed to take. And I was really nervous, but yeah. I did a really good job and like had scholarships and got accepted to my dream school. So I just knew that I was on the right path. Thank and you. And that's in Philly. Yes. You don't have no kids. I do. Do you? I do. What? I know yes. you had a boo, but I didn't know you have kids. <laughs> yes. So how many a, kids do you have? I just have one. Okay. Yeah. You like just one? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. So tell me a little bit about your relationship and how's that going? Um, it's so funny because he is actually part of the reason I went back to school. Wow. Um, when I first was feeling stuck and everything like that, I kind of was talking to him. Like okay. after I, I talked to him and he was like, we're doing it. Whatever the amount for the test, I'm going to pay it. You're going to take it. He paid it and I literally like took it that next week. And, Got you. and he's so supportive. All my books, my helps with the tuition, everything. Yeah. So. Good for you. So your next step is nursing. Anything, any plans after that? Like. Actually, I'm going to keep going. I want to open my own family clinic, so I want to be a nurse practitioner. Yay! So, yes, after I finish with this degree, I'm not stopping. i got to keep it going. Good. Yeah. Good. I know you told, um, you talked about this earlier off camera. You have PCOS. Tell the viewers a little bit about what that is about, because one of my close friends actually just got diagnosed with that, and she talks about it on social media. So, if somebody didn't know what PCOS was, how would you explain that to them? Um, so I would basically say it's a bunch of cysts on the ovaries mm. and a lot comes along with it. So everybody is different. It affects them differently. It's like a hormone imbalance, Got so you. weight gain, uh, hair growth in places where you don't want it, wow. inf uh, infertility problems. And how long have you been dealing with that? Um, so I had my son in 2008, but I wasn't diagnosed with PCOS until like 2011. And how do you think that affected your confidence, your insecurities, digging deeper into that? like? Did it bring you down? Did Definitely. you fight through it? You were like, this is okay? Was it something that you really had to work through and be like, you know what? I'm really gonna have to fight to get my confidence back. This is difficult. So I'm honestly still working through it. Mm -hmm. um, for me, it was like, um, my weight was a huge change. So you gained a lot? Yeah, so okay. I went from like this size six to a size 16. Wow. And it was like ridiculous. And I tried like diets and everything else. And it's really, really hard to get the weight off. And the doctors are always like trying to push surgery, but I don't want that. Don't so want to do like, it. For the longest, I felt like, you know, I hate this body. Mm -hmm. I don't like, I hate to get dressed mm -hmm. and things like that. And only recently, I decided like I'm going to own the body that mm. I have. So that's why this transformation for me is like really big because it's like the first step of me like accepting and loving me for the way I am. What got you to that point though? For anybody that's watching that's like I might be going through the same thing or anything mentally, physically, spiritually, like you're st you're still fighting through it, but what is helping you get through that? So I started writing a blog to myself. Cause I feel like I give good advice, but I never take it. Yeah. So in the blog, that's what I was doing, giving myself advice. And yeah. every day I tried like something new from my advice list. Mm. And like I said, I'm still a work in still progress, fighting but through I'm it. getting there. Good, yeah. good. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. We're almost done with your transformation and I cannot wait for you to see it. You're gonna feel so good and yeah. So Mia, we're gonna get you finished in makeup, get your lashes on, get the final touches, then we're gonna get you in wardrobe, and then we'll do the big reveal for your final look. All right. This is gonna be your stylist for today. We got your hair, makeup, now we gotta get you some fashion. This is Danielle. She has styled celebrities in the NFL, the NBA, doctors, and lawyers. So I'm so excited to have her style you today. Well, nice to meet you, Bia. Nice to meet you too. I am so excited. Are you excited? I'm definitely excited. Yes. Okay, so today for your outfit, we want to add some identity, show your personality, you know, turn it up a little bit. How does that sound? That sounds good. Good, good. And so I like to play with print. Are you scared of print? No. Okay, good. So I like that. So here we're thinking about a little plaid or just any type of print. I like the floral too on you. Okay. We definitely want, right, mm -hmm. we definitely want to accentuate your shape. Like I said, you have a beautiful, we want to show those curves but still keep it chic. For the top, we'll make it, still make it solid but still add like a pop of color to bring out those pretty eyes. Such a pretty color. 
Now tell me about your personal style, because I know you say you're more casual, so how is your usual everyday style? Um, every day is sweatpants, sneakers. <laughs> if you like hoodie, yeah. t-shirt, slides. It's easy. Lack okay. of style. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're going to glam it up a little bit. I'm going to leave you two to it. I yes. trust you. Yes, she's Don't in good hands. Me. You are in good hands. <laughs> your makeup, your hair looks amazing. So we're going to get an outfit to match that glam. And I will see you guys later. Right. Right. Thank good you. Luck. Thank you. my gosh okay be careful sorry i almost killed you right there sip this way i don't want you to see i'm so excited you look so good okay stay right there Whew. okay girl now i'm nervous i'm like should i turn you around or should we just wait a minute okay all right are you ready to see the new you yeah. okay i'm gonna turn you around don't open your eyes yet just turn turn Stop. Okay. Come this way. Girl, I got you doing a hokey pokey, girl. <laughs> All right. You ready? Yeah. There you go. Open your eyes. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good oh yes? Or is. Now you're making me nervous. No, it's good. It's you good. <laughs> look absolutely oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Girl, I love the belt. You know, I always got on belts too. It bring in that waist. Yeah. You got your nice shape. Your toes is out. You got on heels. You know, you no. usually wear sneakers. <laughs> your hair looks beautiful. Fall. You won't fall. Girl, you just walked in here with your eyes closed. Do you like your new look? I love it. I'm so glad. You look so beautiful. Yeah. Now, is there anybody that you want to call, FaceTime? Yeah. Cause somebody need to see this besides us. My sister. Your sister? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get a phone for you. We're gonna FaceTime your sister and we're gonna see what she thinks about your new look. Okay. All right, you ready? Go ahead and FaceTime your sister. I'm excited to see what she's gonna say. She probably ain't gonna believe that you're not in sweatpants <laughs> and a hoodie. Hey y'all, <laughs> I did this. I did, well, I had a team, a team, but I did this. Look at this. Shout out to curls. Look, hold on, hold on. Now, you know your sister. She always in sweats and a hoodie and tennis shoes. But let me take it down to the toes. Look at this. Boom! Oh, hey, Dad. <laughs> See, the outfit's appropriate even for the daddy. <laughs> Y'all like her new look? Curls hooked her up today. She feels beautiful. She was gorgeous before, but the after, hopefully this makes her feel more confident, girly, and yeah. Oh, so we talked to your family, your daddy, your sister, your whole family loved it. You love it. I think you're absolutely gorgeous. You. Let's get you to the studio for your after shoot so we can see the before and the after. You ready for this? Yeah. This is the final step, girl. I know it's been a long process, <laughs> I know, but it's the final step and we're gonna see the before and after. Okay. Let's go. I'm absolutely in love with my new look. I'm so excited to go home and show off. I feel like this is the start of my complete transformation. I just transformed my look and I'm like gaining that confidence that I lost a long time ago. So I'm excited to see where this newfound confidence takes me. <laughs> 